We are coming to you live from Los Scandalous Shake and Bake Arena. And the A-listers are out tonight. You can feel the electricity in the air. Feel it! There's an electrical storm! Look, a boat just took out their mascot! Lightning blasts all over the place, Grim! This is dangerous! And danger is what this league is all about, Bricks. And the fans, they're loving it. Pain, suffering, humiliation, and possibly a conga line. This game's gonna have it all. The Simpson Nasty Mangles battle. The Los Scandalous Volts. Welcome to MFL Game Day. Grim Blitzrow here. Let's listen in on the sidelines and hear what the team's captains have to say. I'm a high-scandalous sellout. I am a hell of a sellout. Ghost of Everyone, Grim Blitzrow with you on MFL Game Day. Hey, uh, Briggs, do you smell something burning? Ah, uh, thanks for reminding me. I left my rubber foot in the toaster oven to warm it up. Last time I left it there too long, it came out like Saganaki. Oh, uh -huh. It's freezing in here. Hey, why don't you take a shampoo and ouzo, stick your head in the toaster oven. That'll warm you up. And it's first and ten. like an old guy looking for a bathroom. First down. And it's first and ten. He refuses to go down. And that's how you run the football. First down. And it's first and ten. It's a catch for a one-yard gain. That's not going to do it, fellas. Second down and nine. Oh, look at this guy. Nice pickup for six yards. Third down and three. Nicely done for a first down. And it's first and ten. And this guy looks like Thor on a revenge bender right now. And they just smacked that one back in his face. Second down and ten. A good run for five yards. Hey, didn't move the changes, Gordon, did it? How good can it be? Third down and five. First and ten. And the passing game picking up some steam, a gain of seven there. Second and three. And that'll 
They'll give them four more downs to punish the defense. And you better believe they will. And it's first and ten. And the defense goes for the jugular. And the whistle blows the play dead along with the quarterback. First and ten. And that's some good old-fashioned downhill running as he picks up nine yards on the play. And that'll bring up second and one. He dropped it. If he does that again, they'll drop him. And that'll bring up third and one. Yeah, something went very wrong with that box away. What was your first hit? The lack of blood, everyone having all their limbs? He's your enemy. Well, this kick is no guarantee. Sure it is. If he misses, he's fired. Guaranteed. Straight through the uprights. If you don't understand why refs are hated even more than kickers, <laughs> well, there's your answer, Brick. And it looks like the and the offense jumps on sides to kill the ref. They say we're mad as hell and not going to take it anymore. Man, these guys have no offense says it's time to put the ref out of his misery. <laughs> Boring, but smart. Time to punt. Whoa, whoa, you can't say that on the radio. Rainbow. The return man catches the ball and heads upfield. Oh, that's a vicious hit, and the crowd loves it. He just turned that guy into 300 pounds of ground mutiny. And you can't hit a guy much harder than that. And that is unfortunate. Pow! With the brain scrambler. Second down and nine. Oh, he just got crushed. And it's first and ten. That's the way to keep the chains moving. That was beautiful. And it's first and ten. Oh, man, the offense called a murder ball. That's a little under. He caught it, and nothing was going to stop him from getting into the end zone. Except maybe self-doubt, but he seems to have worked through it. Don't want to make any mistakes here. Just kick the ball through the upright, for God's sake. Straight through the uprights. When you give up points, you need to get them back. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if they can make them pay. First and ten. Hit that 
find the way a Republican congressman hits the airport men's room. Good and hard. First down. And it's first and ten. Nice gain of about seven yards on that run. Second and three. And that is caught for a first down. First and ten. That's the end of quarter one. Well, the good news is there's still time to make it a game. And it's first and ten. And that was a bone crusher right there, folks. Second down in a lot. Oh, with the brutal hit. Third down and three. The kicker should make this, but you know how it goes in this league. And the defense just called the ginormous dirty trick. And the kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. The best kind of kick is when it's right after a score. Hey, speak for yourself. I'm usually the one who gets kicked after scoring. First and ten. First down! I see this guy drop a lot of balls in the past, but I heard the quarterback threaten to throw him a real bomb if he dropped one again. You know, good communication is important. Caught for the first down! First and ten. And they are on the march right now with their third consecutive first down. First down and seven. And the defense puts one over on the quarterback with a sticky ball dirty trick. The only thing the QB can do now is run for his life. Or die. Second down and more than the QB would like. He took a beast boost injection. Now watch him stomp all over his opponent. Okay, nice and easy like a two-foot putt. You miss two-foot putts all the time, Grim. The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. The 
home crowd isn't impressed with that showing, but their team has a chance to respond. Second and one. First down! And this guy is a stud, Bricks. Yeah, tell him me! Nice run! No, I mean, he's a real stud. He works at the Mutant Stud Farm weekends and summers. And we'll take a quick timeout. Well, will you tell the interns to get us some Franken dogs and a couple of beers? I'm dry over here. I'll take nachos and a scotch. Uh, at least they can pee for me, too. And he put all of his foot into that one. No return on this punt. The defense will just down it. I can't tell if he's smart or scared. Either way, the ball is down. And it's first and ten. One time, when I was playing, a guy hit me so hard, I went into a dark tunnel. Thought I saw my grandparents waving at me in the light. Turns out it was just the visitor's tunnel that he knocked me into, and it was the paramedics waving fingers in my face. And the defense gives up five yards there. The defense calls timeout. They must be trying to get on their QB's good side. And that'll bring up third and one. And that's perfect coverage. Nice deflection. And they'll line up for the punt here. Should move him back nicely. And he snags the punt and looks for open field. I had a dog named Snags. He got hit by a... Oh, and he just left an outline on the ground like he was trying to wipe off the dinosaurs. Must be opposite day because he's the one who just got wiped out. And it's first and ten. A nice run there for eight yards. The quarterback is controlling the clock right now like the clock is into it. He just clock blocked the clock. Second down and two. Oh, and the quarterback threads the needle for a first down. And that's it. That's the last time out. It's score or die from here out. The quarterback goes into a hurry-up offense. He's looking for a quick score. Aren't we all, Quim? Aren't we all? Oh, the defender almost picked off the ball on that one. Uh -huh. 
And the offense goes into their two-minute drill. Which coincidentally happens to be Brent's match stupsing time. That's and he was stuck to him like glue. When in a hurry-up offense, the offense needs to run out of bounds or take a timeout to stop the clock. And he reels that one in for a first down to keep the drive alive. First down and one. And that's the end of the second quarter. Someone will need to pull together some bribe money as they head to their lockers. Stay with us for the halftime show, brought to you by our friends at Monsatan Industries. We make genetically altered Franken food you'll have fun trying to identify. Welcome back. Hope you enjoyed the carnage during today's halftime show. Obviously, they need to play a lot harder here in the second half to make a game of it. Or they can start cheating and killing. That's what I'd do. When you get knocked down, you got to get right back up and fight. Now, what about when you get knocked up? What do you do then? Run. Second down and four. And the quarterback finds his man for the first down. And it's first and ten. First down. He was not going to drop that one. They need to make him a target more often. And it's first and ten. This guy's a brick shit house. Great run for a nine-yard gain. And that'll bring up second and one. Steps and took his eye off the ball. What a peck ahead. Get the ball, asshole. Hey, asshole up here. Talking to you. And he'll pick up the first down with a nice piece of running there. First down and five. Well, it looks like he wanted to run before he caught it. You gotta keep your eye on the ball. Come on, you dirtbag. You gotta make that catch. Second down and five. Oh, with the brain scrambler. And that'll bring up third. Oh, and the defense jumps outside to the top. You know, in some leagues, you aren't even allowed to touch the QB. In the NFL, yeah. they have plays just for killing them. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. And that'll bring up third and one. Catches it for a touchdown! What a beautiful play! Yeah, it does those power to win like a high cool. Now there are some who would argue that we should just skip this step and make touchdowns worth seven. 
What? And kick the kicker's job in half? They get me called shit. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuffed burrito from Taco Hell. The teams are lined up for the kickoff. Looks like he'll be able to run this one back if he's not terrified for his life. He is, but he's got no choice. Oh, that was a big hit. Hey, Bricks, I bet you took a lot of shots like that over your career. Ah, uh, let's see. About a quarter after three, Grim, but my watch is a bit slow. And that play went nowhere fast. No game. Second down and ten. That's the way to move the chains. That's good for a first down. This game is all about momentum and killing. And it's first and ten. And the quarterback drills one in for the first down. The team getting penalized needs to go into their dirty tricks and attack the ref. Come on, guys, get with it. Attack him and kill him. Jeez. <laughs> They're back up here on first, and they've had enough. The offense jumps on sides and attacks the ref. Went zebra hunting and it looks like they got their trophy. First down in a mile. Second down in a mile. The quarterback has had enough and calls a murder ball dirty trick to lay waste to the defense. And the defense gave up a lot of yards on that pass play. They'll need to regroup quickly. needs a miracle. And he stayed with the receiver and deflected the ball. Woo! 
Don't do anything stupid here. Just punt the damn ball and play defense. And he put all of his foot into that one. He's got the ball now. Let's see what he does. Oh, devastating hit. You ever get hit that hard, Bricks? Yep. Third grade. Sister Mary Margaret of Our Ladies of Holy Hell. I thought it was brass knuckles, but it was just a regular knuckles. And that's how you run it, folks. Picks up eight there. Second down and two. That's a killer. It was right there, and then he dropped it. Oh, scumbag is killing me in the fantasy league. Third and two. It looks like the defense handed our shrinking pills. Uh, that's a giant. Norm, talking about Butterfingers, he should have had that one. Well, here comes the punting unit. You know, punters really do know how to party, Bricks. Yeah? Oh, yeah, I have pictures that, uh, well, maybe actually shouldn't discuss this on the air. He's got the ball now and is going to try and score. If that hit didn't cripple him, it certainly left skin marks. First and ten. Oh, sure, now he catches it. I had this guy on my fantasy team last week. I lost so much money on him, not to mention my kneecaps. My loan shark is very anal about collecting my money on time, Graham. That, my friends, was an all-pro NFL hit. We're tied up at the end of the third quarter. You can smell the excitement on the fans. I mean, literally, it is ripe in here. Man. Second down and five. some seven yards. Oh, no. I got the hiccups again. What are you supposed to do to get rid of them again? You stick it in a plastic bag, say the alphabet backwards while you set yourself on fire and jump out the window. It ought to stop them. First down, so now they have to punt. The defense calls a sticky ball dirty trick. The goal with the punishing hit. And it's first and ten. Oh, and he looks 
looks like he just saw 400 scary movies after that hit. It sounds like my offseason. Second down and six. Oh, man, I love this dirty trick. The quarterback, man, what a hit that was. And it's first and ten. They're taking what the defense has given them. That's a four-yard gain on the reception. Hey, less than a wipe for the headache. Second down and six. I think the defenders are scared of this guy, Bricks, and they have every right to be. Yeah, he's a murderer! <laughs> First and two. Touchdown! Oh, he ran through those defenders like a grease turk. Another bullshit penalty. How long are these guys going to take this? And, and the offense jumps off sides to kill the ref. They say, we're mad as hell and not going to take it anymore. First down and forever. Sends him to the ground with an exclamation point. And a well-placed cleat. And that'll be second and eight to go. Much like my wedding night, there was a big explosion, and then everyone left disappointed. What do you mean, everyone? Third down and eight. Nice run for five yards. A routine field goal, but as you know, nothing is routine in this league. He is automatic. Nice kick. Boring. Just getting the points. Let's move on. The home team is feeling confident as they get the kickoff into the air. Scoring makes anyone confident. It certainly does, Bricks. It certainly does. High five! <laughs> and it's first and ten. The defense better look out. The offense called the Beast Boot Dirty Trick. Murphy Brown! What? I mean, first down! What the hell was that? I, uh, I honestly don't know, Grim. First and ten. Oh, mama! He just knocked him into the next time zone. Once he finds his head, he'll be okay. And they quickly call a timeout to stop the clock. And it's first and ten. Oh, and they just deflated the quarterback's balls right there. Well, that's two timeouts burned, and you have to wonder, Bricks, are they desperate or are they in control? 
Yeah, I'm speaking from experience, Grin. But it really is hard to do both at the same time. And I have mastered it. The offense just burned the defense pretty hard on that one. Yeah, it's still edible now. Just gotta escape off the charge parts. And that'll bring up third down and seven. And he just nailed him right on the numbers for a touchdown. Well, this should be an easy chip shot extra point, but you never know with kickers. <laughs> it's good! They're looking for a good return after giving up points. Let's see how they do. Yeah, let's see if they always suck off. That was just a one-time thing. with the Brain Scrambler. And it's first and 10. Oh, he almost broke that one wide open. Hey, he's making a break and one wide open. Who's sitting on the oil rig? And he takes a time out here. They have two left. I wonder if he has a plan. Well, maybe he's just going to take the teeth out of the back of his neck that have been stuck there since the opening play. And then a first down from a great catch. Was it a catch, though? Let's consult it. They stopped the clock, but they only have one timeout left. Ah, that's okay, Grim. They can have nine. That's, uh, that's nice, Bricks. But our timeouts are for our sponsors, and we need money more than they do. And it looks like the coach is ripping that play from the playbook. What a dud. Second down and ten. The quarterback burns his last timeout. They can't stop the clock anymore. The offense changes the pace by going into a hurry-up. Does that mean the defense gets into a hurry-up, too? Can I kill him? Oh, shit, now he catches it. I had this guy on my fantasy team last week. I lost so much money on him, not to mention my kneecaps. My loan shark is very anal about collecting my money on time, Graham. Well, good heads-up play there, getting it out of bounds. Better than throwing a pick. And this field goal is certainly within the kicker's range. Four people on the planet who care about rules and kickoffs must be happy to see a flag down. <laughs> They'll be going onside here, and the return team is ready for it. No surprises here. You know, before the last play, Bricks, I didn't even know you could have penalties on kicks. And now this shit? And it's first and ten. He was starting to go somewhere, but he gets stumped after three. They usually stop me. And the Los Angeles folks will go home losers today. Good teams find a way to win, and bad teams find a way to lose. Looks like they've got some work to do after this one-point loss. We've all got some work to do after this one. For example, your enunciation could have been a tad bad at Graham, and, and Junior, you can't swear all the time. I don't know what the fuck you're fucking about, you fucking shit at. Speaking of let's hear the MVP team think about the win. Yeah. 
Once again, the folks at Evil SN thank our viewing audience and the Newton Football League for allowing us to telecast this sports presentation. This is Grim Blitzrow with Brickhead Mulligan and Bricks Jr. signing off. Today's game was brought to you by the Hexon Oil Corporation. We drill it, spill it, and kill it so you...